Hello guys, welcome back to the third episode of my tutorial series on how to create simple C sharp desktop application. In the previous videos, we have created simple, beautiful looking UI for our recontact application. Then we created database and connected it with our application. Uh, in this episode, we will create class and method for selecting, inserting, updating, and deleting contacts from our application. So without further delay, let's move to our tutorial series. First of all, open our recontact application project then go to solution explorer and right click on our recontact project then select add and create a new folder to store our classes it will be e contact e contact classes then right click on the folder and add new item Now select the class and give the class name. I will give contact class as its name. Then the contact class file will be open. Let's create a getter and setter properties for our application. It will act as a data carrier in our application. To create a getter and setter properties, uh, there is a shortcut. Uh, just type PROP, then press tab for twice. Let's create a getter and setter properties based on our UI. So we have input field as contact id first name last name contact number address and gender so we'll have to create this getter and setter properties so first contact id let's create a contact id so contact id will be integer so no need to change just press uh, tab then give a name just contact id then press enter then again type prop then tab tab it will be a string it is first name so tab first name then press enter then again prop tab tab then again string tab last name then again prop tab tab string tab contact number enter prop tab tab string tab enter prop tab tab string tab gender so that's it we have created get and setter properties for our application let's create a static method to for connecting our database to create a database connection just type static string and give a name is connection string is equals to configuration manager configuration manager dot connection string and we have to enter a connection name of connection string that we have created uh, in previous video uh, I will show you where the connection string lies then just don't know we have in we have an error here so don't panic we will solve it later first of all let's see our connection name of our connection string so go to solution explorer then double click on app.config we are here we have created a connection string so this is the name of the connection string so just double click and copy ctrl c and paste it to here to solve this uh, error we have to go to solution explorer and right click on references and add reference 
and just go and on assemblies search for the assemblies that it configures so click on configuration system dot configuration just tick it and click on ok so system dot configuration is inserted so just put your mouse over the configuration manager so uh, click on show potential there and click on using system dot configuration so our pro error is solved let's create a method to select uh, data from database mm, and show it to the data grid view okay guys let's create our method to select contact list of our friends from database selecting data from base I will create a method to select so public data table data table is a temporary table that stores mm, list of data from database just give the name of the method that is select and create a uh, first step is to create a database connection so step one database connection we have an error here so just don't panic we will fix it just click on show potential and using click on using system the data so it solved our error we have an error here so we'll solve it later first create a database connection sql connection con is equals to new sql connection just insert it copy it and paste here and semicolon at the end just hover move your mouse over here so potential fixes and click on system using system the data rascal client so it fixed our error let's create an object for our data table data table data table dt is equals to new data table so we created a object an object of our data table now try catch x and finally in try block let's create a let's write our sql query to select data from database step 2 writing sql query so is string sql is equals to asking from tbl underscore contact this is the table we created so let's check the table name e contact loading and tables that was our table name so this is tbl underscore contact now create a command sql sql command cmd equals to a new sql command sql command con creating cmd using SQL and con now 
now create let's create SQL data adapter data adapter SQL SQL data adapter just type what I'm typing CMD using C ending md then open our connection open connection then fill our adapter adapter dot fill and fill our data table using this DT is the object of our data table we created earlier so let's fill it let's close the connection at last connection dot close and return our data table return our value return DT so that's it the error we we saw earlier is solved it required a return value so we give a return value dt uh, so data table holds a value from our database so this is the method to select data from database let's create another method to insert data in our database from our application inserting data into database let's create a method of boolean type public bool insert and give the name of class we created that is contact class of C it also requires an return type so it is showing here if we after we gave a return type it will be solved so creating uh, default return return type and setting its value to false so bool is success is equals to false and return is success so it solved our error first step is to connect database so sql connection con is equals to new sql connection my connection string and then try similar to the previous one catch exception ex finally here we close the connection so I will close the connection here it was supposed to do at last but I did it in the beginning so it's no problem then create a query step 2 is to create a SQL query to insert data a string SQL is equals to insert into PBL underscore contact and 
give the column names uh, we do not need to insert data in contact id so we will just let's see the columns in our table first one is contact id we do not need to give uh, insert data in contact id so we will have to insert data on first name last name contact number address and gender so at first first name first name so last name comma contact number address and gender then values we need to insert values just copy all these and paste it here and add add the red sign on each one at the rate at the rate at the rate and at the rate this is the SQL query to insert the data now we need to create SQL command creating SQL using SQL and con so SQL command cmd is equals to new sql command sql comma con and data so here we will create a parameter to add data into our database so just type cmd dot parameter dot add with add with value then double quote add the rate to first name then this c c dot first name just press enter similarly for our last name add with value add, add the letter last name c dot last name then cmd dot parameter dot add with value at the rate contact number then c dot contact number then cmd dot parameters dot add with value and at the rate address c dot address then cmd dot parameters dot add with value at the rate gender gender that's it this is this is all we have to do then open our connection open yes connection dot op open and define a variable Uh, run the query cmd dot execute non query it will it will run the query if if the query runs successfully then value of rows will be greater than zero else the value of rows will be less than zero zero 
so let's check if if the query runs successfully or not if if the rows is greater than if the row the value of rows is greater than zero that means the data has inserted successfully so the value of is success should be true else the value of is success will be false so that's it uh, so we have successfully created a method to insert data in our database from our application so let's create another method to update data in our database from application application so it will also be a uh, bool data type so public bool update contact class C create a default value return type and set yes, to false is is equals to false then return the bool is success it solved the error so now let's create a SQL connection first so SQL SQL connection so connection is equals to new SQL connection then my connection is string that's it let's create try catch try catch ex exception ex then finally here let's create a update SQL to update data in our database this string SQL is equals to update table underscore contact and set give the column name first name and equals to alert first name similarly last name is equals to alert name city contact number is equals to alert contact number then address is equal to alert address then gender is equal to alert gender at the last we should uh, we should specify uh, which contact to be updated so I'll use where keyword where contact ID equals to address contact ID that's the this is the query to update data in our database uh, this where contact ID will uh, is equals to contact ID will update only uh, update only uh, contact contact uh, whose ID is given so let's create a SQL command to insert data in this query so SQL 
SQL SQL command cmd is equals to new SQL command SQL command con create premise to add value so cmd dot parameters dot add with value first name c dot first name and this will be at the rate this one and uh, this one with other rate and this one with address should be same so cmd dot dot add with value other rate last name c dot last name then cmd dot dot add with value contact number and c dot contact number then add with value then add the rate address c dot address then cmd dot parameters dot add with value add the rate gender gender then cmd dot parameters we need to pass the contact id's value to so we need to create a cmd parameters uh, for contact id 2 add with value contact id c dot contact id here i forgot to write c c dot that's all that's all we need to Great. Then open database connection connection dot op and open. Then create a uh, integer value and execute the command parameter cmd dot execute non query similar as before if the query runs successfully then the value of rows will be greater than zero else the value of rows will be zero so zero so let's check if the query runs successfully or not rows greater than zero is success is equals to true else is success is equals to false so that's it finally close the connection close that's it if the query runs successfully then the data will in the database will be updated so the value of each success should be true else the value of success will be false if each success is true then the data is updated else the data is not updated so that is for our method to update the contact in our database so let's create a method to delete data from our database so 
upgrade this type public bool delete contact class C and create a default return value and set its value to false that is bool is is goes to false then return is success create SQL connection SQL connection is goes to new SQL connection my con string then try catch exception ax then finally finally we close the connection 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 dot close and try section let's going to delete data so this string sql is equals to delete from cntct contact where contact id equals to l rate contact id so let's create a SQL command to pass the contact id in our query command SQL SQL command cmd equals to new SQL command SQL comma con then pass the parameters cmd dot parameter dot add with value at the rate contact id then c dot contact id then open connection connection dot open it opens the database connection then create a uh, integer value to check if the query is run successfully or not cmd dot execute non query if the Query run successfully, then the value of rows will be greater than zero, as the value of rows will be zero. So, zero. So, let's check if the query run successfully or not rows greater than zero then is success is equals to true else is success is equals to false that's it we have already returned the boolean value so this is the method to delete data from our database so this is it so we have successfully created our classes and method to select insert update and delete data from our database using our e-contact application uh, this is it for today in our next video we will be uh, adding the add update and delete functionality in our application uh, so thanks so much for watching if you like this video 
or would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to like share and subscribe if you have any confusion related to this video then don't forget to comment i'll reply as soon as possible see you next time bye bye